Hi, I'm Julie Hunt. Welcome to your guided meditation to help you stop bad habits, to help you stop that critical voice and really bring self-compassion into your life. So if there's anything that you've wanted to change in your life but haven't been able to, this is a great meditation. And it comes from the four day win, which is an exercise that Martha Beck wrote in her book. And this is an adaptation to allow you to be in a meditative state, to see the different sides of yourself and begin to soften away from a place of constriction of where it's really hard to make a change when we're so constricted and so stressed and we're pushing against that uphill battle of change. It allows you to soften from that constriction into a space of expansion, to have more compassion for yourself so you can be drawn towards those positive habits and those things that you want for yourself. So whenever you're ready, allow yourself to find a really comfortable, upright seated position. and softly close your eyes. Begin by doing a check-in of the body and just notice how you're feeling in the body. Notice if there's any tension. With gentle awareness, see if you can just melt any tension that's in the body. See if you can feel the shoulders move away from the ears. It's becoming heavy. Allowing you to really firmly settle into the place you're sitting. Feeling safe. Maybe feeling like you can rest for a moment, like you've landed. And allow the breath to begin to let this flow of energy and openness of relaxation move through your body. Just starting to create this expansion in the body, in the mind, as you begin to settle into a space of rest. I'd like you to imagine that you are in the stands of a big arena. And in this arena, you see a smaller version of you, a very young version of you, a childlike version, who is the part of you that wants to be safe and happy. And as you see her, She's very tired and very beat up. Her clothes are tattered. Her face is dirty. You might even notice the dirt under her fingernails. She's really tired. It's been a struggle. On the other side of the arena, you see a smaller version of yourself that is dressed in very harsh military attire. And this is a side of yourself that is disciplined, that wants to control. You can see a sense of rigidity and coldness. And this part of yourself is the militant one who is supposed to keep the little girl in line. A little girl that all she wants to do is be happy and safe. Every once in a while she acts out and she throws a tantrum and just trying to move toward her safety, frustrated that her needs aren't being met. And so the militant part of you is really harsh, has very mean, harsh things to say to try to keep the little girl in line. 
things that you would never want to hear a person say to someone, that you would never say to anybody else. But she screams and she yells and the little girl cowers. And so you might notice for a moment in your mind's eye the battle that's going on in the arena between the little girl and between the dictator side of you that is controlling the little girl to make sure that she doesn't misbehave. And they're both very tired, very heavy and very weary. And as you look, you can see that they are both well-intentioned. Even the little girl, although she's misbehaving, she just wants to be happy. And perhaps doesn't know how. And the militant dictator side of you She just wants to make sure that everything is in line. She wants to keep that little girl safe from hurting herself. And she's really protecting her. And she believes she's doing a great job to make sure that she doesn't hurt herself more, keeping her safe in the world. And you begin to notice these well-intentioned, smaller versions of you becoming more and more tired. And as you notice them with this well-intentioned space, allow yourself to soften and see the side of them that is trying to do so much good. Feel the compassion that you have for each one. You might even radiate this compassion and send them wishes. Perhaps thinking, may you be well. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be free. And you notice a softening. That battle beginning to relax, that state of constriction beginning to soften and noticing an expansion. And in that expansion, there's a new possibility. There's a new possibility for choice and vision and direction and manifesting your desires. And from the space of expansion, you might notice the little girl making choices that are whole and safe 
and healthy. Allowing her to move toward happiness and joy. Allowing her to move into a space of self-acceptance. Feel what it might be like to offer that little girl acceptance and compassion. Unconditional compassion no matter what she does. Offering a spirit of grace and love. And there's nothing she needs to do to earn this love. She is loved because she is. And as you notice, the dictator, the controller softening. Knowing that there is no right or wrong and black and white. And perhaps seeing an infinite potential of choices and opportunities. And that the path may not be linear and straight. But it is full of creativity and spontaneity. And full of awareness. This beautiful awareness that it can be directed and redirected at any time. And notice what it's like to have this thing in your life that you would like to change. Have a spirit of expansion and infinite possibilities. In this space, there is pure potential to have all of your needs met. To reconnect with the true and higher version of you, your true essence. And as you look down into the arena, you may notice the person who is watching the two different parts of you. knowing that that small child and that dictator are only parts of you. They do not define you. And who you are is watching and witnessing. The true you is beyond the physical body, beyond the mind, beyond the activities of the body. Who you are is being. You are presence. You are pure light and pure love. Allow yourself to notice the breath again. Move through your body moving that pure light and love through every cell of your body. Experiencing what it's like to love that child unconditionally and appreciate the dictator 
for the role of keeping you safe. You might offer gratitude, saying thank you for keeping me safe. I appreciate what you've done for me in the past and going forward. I will move in the space of expansion and those words and that control is no longer needed. And you can rest now. Thank you for working so hard. You can rest. Bring your awareness to the center of your chest, your heart center. Noticing a light of awareness emanating from your heart center. And this light is the source of who you truly are. And from this space, set an intention for yourself. Notice yourself moving back into activity from this place of expansion. Perhaps allowing the higher self, the true you, the observer right now to have those same wishes. Filling your body and mind with a wish for yourself. May you be well. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free. Receive these wishes for yourself. Begin to deepen the breath, taking in a deeper inhale. And a long exhale, allowing yourself to release anything that has held you back in the past. Any negativity, any self-criticism, negative self-talk, old beliefs. Releasing all of those. And perhaps having the intention as you move back into activity, that every inhale brings you new life, new oxygen, the creativity, energy, and vitality to move you toward your desires. And every exhale, releasing, letting go. Stepping away from what no longer serves you. allowing you to step into your worthiness, your deservedness, and your joy. Continuing to deepen the breath, perhaps wiggling the fingers and the toes, stretching the shoulders, feeling any changes in the physical body, any changes in the mind, 
just noticing what's possible for you and when you feel ready opening your eyes coming back into the space and time knowing what it's like to have that self-compassion and perhaps sharing that same sense of compassion with others if you like this meditation please give it a thumbs up write your comments about your experiences watching the arena any shifts that you have experienced from this meditation and continue to bring the sense of self-love and self-compassion into your heart and into your body knowing that you are always doing the best that you can your actions are coming from the space of your true self so we're always doing the best that we can in any given time and we can offer ourselves some forgiveness when we make mistakes because we will but we can come back to this place of self-compassion knowing that we can move ahead with greater sense of awareness and joy and allowing our space of higher self to ripple out into the world Thank you for joining me for today's meditation. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. If you turn on the notifications, you'll be notified immediately of new meditations every time I upload them. And I will see you right back here for the next guided meditation.